Hey, a local aerospace company is breaking a new record in spaceflight. Firefly Aerospace announced that this month they successfully prepared and launched a rocket in just 27 hours. <laughs> The previous record for any space agency was 21 days. Wow. Joining us now is Eric Hendrickson. So how did the company launch this so quickly? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Good morning, y'all. Hey, guys. So traditionally, a rocket launch takes weeks or even months to plan and execute. But the U.S. Space Force tasked the Cedar Park-based company to complete the whole process in a little more than three days. It was kind of a test to see if it could be done. Firefly Aerospace CEO Bill Weber told me to complete the mission, they had to do two things. One included updating infrastructure developed in the 1960s. The other called for doing several steps at the same time, but they usually did one after the other. Weber says that by launching quickly, they can not only get people into space faster, but also improve our ability to fix broken satellites that provide services on Earth. The ability to, within 24 hours or less, take a replacement exactly where you want it and put it in, into space, that changes the game dramatically. Weber told me that by breaking the record isn't that important. It's all about completing the tasks they were given by the Space Force. He hopes competition will drive them to launch even faster in the future. And next year, they're testing a new rocket. And it's bigger, and I've been told we're all going to know when it's tested. Really? Because it's going to be very, 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 very loud. Ooh, okay. that's exciting, So I asked, though. could I hear it from Austin? They said, maybe. Okay, this, so, that, that gives me an idea because you said this is in Cedar Park. Right. If we could hear it in Austin, that's a big rocket. Right, so they have three facilities, two in Cedar okay. Park, one of which is where they're building the moon lander that's going to be taken by NASA in a couple wow. of years. Uh, the other one's kind of an office, and then the one in Briggs is where they're testing these giant rockets. And sometimes you might see them on the horizon or hear the, like, see the glow on the horizon yeah. or hear the loud roar, and that's them testing rockets, which they do weekly, by the way. Oh, that is so that's cool. so cool. It's pretty cool. I think it's really cool. I think a lot of people don't know they're up there doing yeah. their thing, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Each time I go, the facility's larger and different, and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> this is this being big. Yeah. It's really, really cool. It's a great place, and uh, I'm excited to see what they do next. I so. am, too. I want you to go and see what that other rocket Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. I, already, I already booked my visit. I'm, I'm already ready for that <laughs> report next year. I'm going to see y'all early next year and talk about that giant You know, rocket. I saw a real cool Halloween costume uh, on Pottery Barn yesterday. It's, oh, a, no. it's a, a rocket ship. Is it? I'm tall like a rocket. I could easily... Uh, I mean, it's an idea. There you it's go. Free idea. idea. Thank